I just made it home from work and that is why I still have a beat face but tomorrow is a big day for me and I want to bring you along for it. I am going to therapy for the very first time in my entire life and I am excited for it. As a Christian I think now it's becoming more acceptable it's becoming more talked about and supported but for a long time I felt like a lot of Christians just have this belief of like because God is amazing in all that he does, if you're struggling with something, just take it to God because he cares for you and he'll fix it, which I 100% believe. But I also believe in a God that says, like, it's not good for man to be alone. And if we confess our sins to one another, he's just and able to forgive. And I'm just really excited to be able to take this step in my journey in this life. And this thing called life and get the healing that I need, get the help that I need. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just nervous. It's more so I'm nervous because it's like, I genuinely thought I had dealt with. So to know like, oh, something triggered me so much to feel as low and as helpless and as hopeless as I did. Whew, this is going to be a journey uncovering and unpacking all of that and I'm ready to do it. See you on the other side of healing. I just made it here I'm not gonna take the camera in there but I'm gonna give you my reaction when I get back just so that we can like be accustomed to each other cuz I work in the news and I know what it's like shoving a, fa a camera in somebody's face people don't usually like that so I'm gonna wait until we had a little relationship first and then I'll try to like vlog a little bit inside the session maybe and that's strong on the maybe so I just finished my first session and honestly I think it went pretty good so it was more so just like an introduction of like why I need the help that I need and just kind of like how I'm feeling as of late kind of what some of the triggers are I do like the lady that is helping me because like she just made me feel so welcome the conversations that we had she was very open and willing to help me decipher how I was feeling and kind of what led that on so I am all in all pretty excited to see where this journey is going to take us one thing that she did say was like we're going to journey through this together and I'm here to do this every step of the way with you that just made me feel one, like I'm not alone, and I know, as Christians, we know that we're, we're, God will never leave us for, or forsake us, and that we're never alone. Like, I understand those things, but it also feels good to know that someone on this side of heaven um, is just, like, really teaming up with me and really wants to see me succeed and really wants to help me on that journey. So now I got a couple hours to spare. It's about 9.25. The session was about an hour, maybe hour, 10 minutes, not long, but I have to go to work today i can't just go home and relax well i am actually gonna go home and relax i don't have to be to work until 2 p.m but i feel like i should reward myself for this this step of progress i'm gonna go get mcdonald's because my stomach is growling she's asking me what's one of the things that i like to do to cope i should have told her eat and as bad as it is i definitely love me some mcdonald's mcdonald's please sponsor me honey sponsor me if you don't got this mcdonald's app you tripping because you spend way more money than you need to because this app, watch how this total come down when I use this app, okay? Thank you for choosing McDonald's, I'm help you. Okay, so here we go. Look at that, savings. $4.79, yes. Saving money has to be good for the mental health. Making progress already. Hello, Stinky. <laughs> Lord Jesus, let it be nourishment to my body and don't let it harm me. Bless the hands that prepared it. In Jesus' name, amen. <sighs> Free never tastes so good. We did talk about treatment options. What this specific treatment option is supposed to do, based on how she explained it, which is why she gave me this thick packet to research it myself, um, 
to see if it's something that I want to do, but it's supposed to help you like navigate why you have negative thoughts and like, go back to the reasoning or the situation or the traumatic event as to why you have a negative thought. And then like, so like for instance, like why people feel worthless or like they'll never be loved or like the fear of being abandoned. Not talking about myself, talking about a friend, you know, just joking. But why you have those like thoughts and then going back to either the very first traumatic situation that you had where your brain was supposed to process it, but it just stayed in the emotional state. So not anytime you experience something traumatic or stressful, you go back to that negative thought. How many of you have gone through therapy and like how did it help you? What are some of the things that you learned? Um, she said that this is going to be a process and it's going to take a lot of time. It's not going to be something that we fix overnight and I know I understand that but give me some hope. What are some of the things that you've learned and like the homework that you've had to go through? Homework that you've had to go through like while going through therapy and how like did it help you? It's really hot outside and it's the middle of the summer and this is like the eye makeup that I did today. It's kind of green. I tried to do like a little mermaid style and I feel like it, I was a little nervous to do this one because I'm like, the eyeshadow and the color of this dress are not spot on. So my backup was this dress. To me, in person, this dress matches the eye makeup a little bit better. But when I look through the camera, which I'm going to be on camera tonight, so that's really what matters. The camera makes it look like these two look a little bit closer. So I think I'm going to stick with this outfit. So sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So for the last two days, this entire like hub where we sit has worn the same color. Monday we wore blue. Yesterday we all wore red. So I was really counting on us to wear green without having to actually coordinate it and it failed. It's like an emerald green like that. You don't? No, I have a dark okay. green and like a light green. I almost wore dark green, but it didn't match my makeup. I didn't think it did. Thank you. Oh, oh you're vlogging? I am. I love my ID, like, it's somewhere okay. here. It's okay. I, I was going to say, we were also matching yesterday, and I was trying to see if anyone else matched oh, again sorry, today. today. Nah, it's all good. For the rest of Facebook yesterday, reach was down 6%. However, engagement was up 33%, and video views fell only slightly by 1% for the day. Charity, what are you looking into? Um, I have two meetings today. The first one's going to be uh, at the City Hall with the Quincy Regional Airport for an aeronautics committee meeting. I did call both of the people. I called Marcelo for the next meeting, and then I tried calling Gabe for this one to figure out what's pertinent. I know that we did a story last week about um, an update with the airport. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everything you said, plus the new member, if they elected the member, or appointed new member. Okay. Yeah. I need my keys. Where am I going? I don't know if I've updated you in a while, but my beats have changed. So before, I think, my last vlog, when I updated you guys about the position change, I was on this new beat, but I hadn't reported in a while. Oh, ain't no car keys. Let's see. Sorry. Come through. Can I take your? Oh, I don't want your car. When he's in Macomb, I might have to take it. Are you vlogging? I am vlogging. Oh, I love <laughs> you. Biggest fan. Oh. <laughs> I was just telling them about my beats, and then I got sidetracked, and I realized there's no cars. Yes. <laughs> okay, I guess. Can I take yours? Yes. But I was gonna say now I'm. So like, this is our little district map of everywhere that we cover. I'm gonna move whoever's equipment this is. And this is our map, and before, I used to cover this county, this county, this county, this county, and this county. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I used to cover all five counties plus healthcare. And this is Illinois, this is Iowa, and this is Missouri. And I used to just cover the Illinois portion. Now that we have so many amazing reporters I am now only cover this county. So I went to your vlog channel oh. and I was watching a bunch of the uh, <laughs> day in my life. Oh. <laughs> so that I could see what it looked like and stuff. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad it helped. You might think women that carry their own groceries, Lord Jesus, their own bags into the house, they're strong because we are. But women that carry their own camera equipment, they shoot their own video. We're a different type of beast. 
a whole different type of queen. And it's hot out this door. That meeting we were in is called an editorial meeting. And that's where we pitch our stories, our ideas for the day, the things that we're working on. And it's not just pitching ideas. It's things and stories that we can cover that can happen today. Things that we've already called on, things that we've researched, things that we've already looked into. That's what that meeting does. It just kind of helps give you an idea of what the story is going to be. And then we go out and get it. I'm heading to get video at the airport. Because I cover so many meetings, it's boring. If you were to watch the news and all you saw was footage of like people talking but you can't hear them, it's just meeting video, you'd be bored. I feel like usually when I come out here to get b-roll of airplanes, there's usually never any planes out here and today there's two. I don't know if you can see, there's one all the way back in the corner. It's a little baby plane, a little puddle hopper. And then there's one right there and I'm gonna get video of both of them because I didn't hit the, the jackpot. Plus the Quincy, I almost said city council, I'm so used to saying city council. Plus the Quincy Aeronautics Committee met to discuss topics such as flight schedule changes and essential air service proposals. I'll have the details tonight. I'll have details tonight. Okay, I think we got it. Plus the Quincy Aeronautics Committee met to discuss topics such as flight schedule changes. And after I go ahead and shoot my topical, as I just did, I give it over to Stoops. He makes the topicals look fantastic. Hello, Stoops. I'm here at the city hall for my first meeting of the day. I'm starting off at the Aero Com Aeronautics Committee meeting um, where they're going to be discussing some flights, schedule changes, some um, essential uh, air service changes as well. So this is where the meeting will be taking place. And the purpose of coming to meetings such as this, your city council meetings, your aeronautic committee meetings, fire aldermanic, the reason why I come to all of these city meetings is because the residents in this area care about what's happening um, with leadership in the area, what's happening with the services that they receive in the area. So that is why it is important for reporters like myself to continue to cover these types of stories. So this is usually where I sit. There's a little moat box where you can plug in your um, cable and connect it to your camera to be able to hear what they discuss. But usually what I find is any meeting outside of city council, the moat box doesn't work. So I just print out the agenda um, and then I just take notes as far as what everything is discussed and then I'll grab an interview at the end. Whereas during city council, it's easy for me to just record on the podium as people are speaking because the mics will turn on and it'll connect to the audio on my camera. But for this meeting, that won't be happening. So I'm just gonna jot down my notes the old school, old fashioned way. I'm now here at the Quincy Park District where we're going to have another meeting where I'm looking to get two stories like we heard in the elements out of this and I can't get my camera to focus but just trust and believe I am here at the Quincy Park board and that will be my evening after this I'll go back to the station put everything together and then you'll see me for my live shot. McKinsey, right now, airplanes with two engines fly out of the Quincy Regional Airport, but the two proposals before the board right now only offer single-engine air airplanes. Look at him. I don't think it's printed correctly. Right, I'm going to need some fries because they smell so good in the car. Go ahead. You can slap one. Well, where's my stuff? You didn't ask for nothing. Whatever. You are good, too. <laughs> you don't, you don't best. I could cry. I really could cry. And guess what, guys? Tomorrow is my birthday, but it's also Ethan's birthday. Woohoo!
birthdays are like personal holidays and it is personally my favorite holiday. I love celebrating my birthday. So with that said, if you stick around and you like this video, you can catch the next vlog, which will be my birthday celebration. Um, celebrating on Thursday, which is tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. And you'll see more of my lovely WGEM friends. To be a real friend, do you know the tag out to my yeah, YouTube I channel? He's not a real friend. He's not a real friend. How is I supposed to know you had a vlog? Uh, who doesn't know I have a vlog? Millions of people, but that's okay. Okay, guess again, because that's not it. Let's see if it pops up. No, nope, none of those are me. Y'all, he's a fake friend. I'm telling you. Not you just searching charity. <laughs> Giving the world charity. <laughs> No. This let is me horrible. help you. Let me help you. Oh, didn't even have to type it all the way in. <gasps> oh my god. There's just these two. Not yeah. this one. No. Does that look like me? Not no. all black people look alike. I no. <laughs> Not you looking around. <laughs> Find the alarm. Three years ago? Mm-hmm. Oh. She professional. <laughs> she got she certified. Certified. In the name of Jesus. Because I'm not verified. Not verified. Certified. Yes. Certified. 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 Anointed. This is a wrap, and I all just want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers that I've gotten. My goal was to be at 500 at the end of June, and we're just over 500 and at the middle of July. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that has joined the Chit Chats with Charity family. And you already know the drill. Chit, 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 chats with charity.